This is another quick speed shop. If you like American Pickers, you're gonna love this video. We're going in one of my back buildings, a honey hole of junk, and I'm getting it organized to bring up here in the pallet racking. I'm finding stuff I didn't know I had. It's exciting, so my back hurts, but watch me struggle. It's starting right now. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. If you guys like American Pickers and like honey holes, you're gonna love this. This is a back bay in my garage. I've got a whole bunch of junk I've been storing in here for years. Uh, so I forget what everything is in here because it's, it's well, you'll see in a second, but that pallet racking I put up in my pole barn uh, a couple videos ago, I'm gonna start getting organized and trying to get things more in an order where I can see them and see what I got. So uh, let's open up this back bay and see what's going on in here. It's a disaster, just be warned. So I've got about one million box elder bugs that are hanging out here, that's good. Uh, this has kind of become a catch-all. Believe it or not, I was able to keep a car in here at one time, but that has time has passed a long time ago. And what I want to dig out of here is, uh, oh, there's that oak table I was looking for. I want to dig out of here this, this AMC Eagle I cut up about a year ago. I've been storing all the pieces, the roof is in here, all the doors, the fenders should be in here somewhere. Um, actually, the whole side of the car, the door, the door jams and everything are here, the quarter panels are outside, but I want to take the entire car and put it up on that pallet rack. Um, I got some other stuff in here, some quarter panels, a couple other doors, looks like a bunch of tires, a bunch of other miscellaneous nonsense. So I'm gonna start dragging stuff out and getting these panels up and then we'll go inside and we'll inventory them correctly-ish on, uh, on that pallet rack up there. Uh -oh. Random shopping cart full of something. This is super cool. I got this from a guy in the car club. It's an old uh, tow bar from the 50s he had on a Model A coupe, but it's made out of a Ford wishbone. And check this out. You can see the, the socket where the thing would pivot. And it's got a really old style uh, coupler that is ooh, cracked pretty good. Kind of torched out and welded on there, stick welded on there. And then it has a uh, some mounts that would have bolted onto the frame rails of his Model A. So that's a pretty cool old piece. Got that just to, uh, that's how everybody used to do it back in the day. That's neat. Oh, yes. Need this. I forgot about this. This is a super heavy duty one inch thick cart, machine cart I got from an auction. It's got a big old rope on it. Really heavy duty steel casters. Cast, they're uh, actually a cast iron, but super heavy duty. This thing's awesome. Good for moving stuff. It's a honey hole. So this is a bean bag toss uh, piece my dad made way back in the 80s. We used to have these car shows. Well, they still have them actually down in Owego, New York. And back in the 80s, they had some games, and uh, he made this beanbag uh, toss where you'd throw it through here, kind of before Cornhole took over things. And uh, it's been lettered up here, show cars and other cars. It's got the outline of a coupe on it, and I've uh, had this for years. And here it is. What the? It's a random car stick on there. I thought that was a dead bat for a second. That freaked me right out. Some random stick em. I don't know where that came off of. So here we go. Uh, I think this is a tire for my trailer. Yes, that's a spare tire for my trailer. Found that. Um, these are support stands for the louver press I have. They hold the hood. You extend them up and you hook the hood on here, these, and it helps hold it for you. They're just in here because they're big and awkward. This is an oak table, believe it or not. It is painted and has oak underneath. 
Wait, I got this table at the Albert Paley Retirement Auction. He's a world-renowned uh, metal metal sculptor. He made the gates of, at the Smithsonian. Uh, I think the Kansas City Zoo. He worked with Jesse James on a, a project for PBS. Anyways, this was on his uh, his property at his uh, shop, and I got it and a bunch of stuff in the auction. I'm going to turn it into a computer desk. It's pretty cool. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty I'm going to say it's kind of old. It's got square bolts on it and stuff, so. It's probably an older table, but it's nice, nice old table. I just kind of wanted it in here because I didn't know what to do with it. Furniture is always awkward. Aha, I can get in here. So now, this is an old uh, gas station tire rack I got from a guy when I bought those uh, flathead KR Wilson generators and stuff. He had this in here. It's actually been cut and extended. I've got quite a few tires on it. All my old uh, wheels and tires. I got some new uh, military Jeep tires for my Jeep projects. Bunch of like 35 Ford, 36 Ford, and uh, what size are these? These are 35s. Bunch of uh, bias ply, pretty much all my bias ply wheels and tires are mounted up on there. But here we go, we're starting to get to the eagle stuff. This is the uh, roof, roof skin, which I think I should be able to get to that. There we go. Here's the roof skin, here's the inside of it. This is going up top, get this out of here. So this is the whole front inner structure. Uh, the rocker panel, the whole door frame, the whole front end piece with the upper control arm and all that. The frame rails are cut off because they were rusted out on both sides. But, you know, if I'm, I'm saving this for crash parts. I mean, these cars are, are pretty much disappearing. So if I need any of this crash parts over here, I saved it. And these are going to go up on that rack. I forget how heavy they are, but I bet they're kind of heavy and awkward. Whoa, I guess so. Ah, is it going to clear? Nope. Too bad. Set that one right there. I don't remember how I got all this junk in here. It's ridiculous. This one appears to be stuck in here somehow. here. More wheels and tires, Studebaker truck cab all cut up, 37 Ford deck lid for a sedan. Oh, there's like a 40, 42 to 46 Ford bumper guard hanging there. Well, how'd that get there? Man, you never know what you're going to find. It's like a honey hole. Bunch of uh, random garage door panels I saved. This is 37 Buick stuff up here for my yellow coupe. I've got spare rear fenders, driver's side fender, Couple of hoods, got crash parts for all my cars I like to have. First time I was able to get in here since I used to climb over everything. These are an old stock, uh, like 50 to 52 Buick quarter panels for a four door sedan. New old stock, I got two passenger side ones. Uh, my friend had them and tried to sell them and couldn't, so he gave them to me. I took them in Hershey a couple of years. I had 20 bucks on them. Nobody would buy a new old stock quarter panel for a 50 Buick for $20. But I got two of them. Fortunately, they're both passenger size. We'll save them. I got another random tire. This is an old stock uh, 42 to 48 two door Buick sedan door. This is the one that's got the cover that bolts onto the side. This thing is new old stock. I also took this to Hershey for multiple years. Had it for $40, new old stock. Nobody wanted to buy it. You'd think there'd be some 42 to 48 Buicks out on the road that somebody would need a brand new new old stock door, but apparently not. So. This stuff is going to go up on that rack too, or actually maybe organize in here better than just throwing our. I just kind of this kind of like turn into a catch-all. But like I bought this at Hershey. This is a driver's side fender for my yellow Buick. I got some rear ends and stuff under here. Uh, more pile of 35 Ford wire wheels, some 19-inch Model A wheels, um, some other stuff, miscellaneous parts, some Model T gas tanks, Model T. Uh, I got a doctor's coupe. I got a trunk lid from a doctor's coupe. I bought at a state auction. That's over there. The roof for that Studebaker truck cab is here. 
bunch of miscellaneous nonsense in here. A couple of Buick hoods up top. So this would be good to, oh, here's the Eagle doors back here. All four doors are stacked up. I'm gonna hog all these out. These are all going into the pole barn. And then I'll be able to at least get in here and maneuver. And uh, this building would be good to store like these rims and stuff, get these organized. Um, they got a, uh, looks like a 37 on up Ford, Ford rear end here. And then the Model A truck transmission. I got eight three quarter B body Mopar rear end there. That's a good one. Got some flathead parts, some other miscellaneous stuff. When you got too much junk, you forget what you got and where it is. And it's like a discovery every day. So, oh, it's a 37 Ford 60 horsepower rear end over here with uh, wheels and 444 gears. That's out of a 37 60 horsepower car. And a bunch of other miscellaneous nonsense. So. I'm going to haul this crap out, we'll get it in the pole barn, and I'll show you how I'm going to kirk, pick it up there and put it up in the lift. Well, if you're at all familiar with American Motors cars, you know the doors are extremely heavy because they got crash bars in them and they're just really, really well built. They're super heavy. So instead of trying to muscle them up there, I was able to get the, uh, the long sections of the car up there by standing up and sliding them up on. So I've got the both the, uh, what do you call them, the uh, door sill sections in the front frame rails. I got them up in there. I got the roof section slid down behind the back of the pallet racking. Now I want to heft these doors up here. And if you know me, you know I love chain falls. Chain falls to the rescue. I'm going to strap these suckers up and chain foam up on there. So let's do it right now. It's out of work. I lost my gloves somewhere. That's all right. Don't worry about that. We'll do it without gloves. Here we go. Bam. Let's see if this works. Strap action here. Strap right on the door. There we go. The answer would be to have a beam out here so the thing hung out away from the edge. That way I wouldn't have to fight with it, but it's good enough for what I'm doing here. I'm just going to have to rest these doors up and put everything else up here, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I get all done getting organized. Well, bam, look at that. I've got like an upstairs hanging out space now, I guess, and bench seats. But man, I got uh, all the stuff packed away. I hung the quarters up here on the upper bars. That's why I put them up here, is to get them up out of the way. It worked perfect. They're hanging up there. I got my 39 Mercury Fender stash here in the middle. I got my extra four band seats here. Um, I got all the doors, the roof skin, the, the side door panels. Got my Mercury hood just kind of haphazardly thrown up here. But this is working out great. This stuff is heavy. I bet there's close to a thousand pounds up here now, but no issues. Working good. And uh, Got a ton of, you know, that, that back room I showed you. I'm able to walk all the way back in there now and get into it. I'm going to get that thing super organized. Hopefully before winter, put a whole bunch away, a bunch of stuff that doesn't need to just be haphazardly thrown everywhere. Get it organized. I'm going to get my rear ends all stacked up in there and stuff. Get the wheels organized. Um, I'm going to bring some more. I'm going to make this my sheet metal area, I think. I have some more sheet metal. Uh, I got some Ford truck doors for my 
Uh, old body style Ford, I want to put those up here. I've got some uh, Jeep fenders and some other stuff, so I'm going to populate this with all my sheet metal and get up here where it's safe and out of the way. Um, these seats are a good spot that's out of the way for them. Hopefully there won't be any mice up here. And uh, yeah, this pallet racking is awesome. I'm glad I got it done. And I'm tired and worn out, my back hurts, so I'm going to go inside and relax. But thanks for watching me move junk around. I hope you enjoyed looking at what happens when you get too much stuff. And remember, don't trash it when you can stash it.